Hey watch lovers, Brad from Brent Miller Jewelers. And today I have for us the Grand Seiko SBGH301 model. And it's not very often, and I hate to admit this, that I am going through our cases here with our inventory and see a model that I don't remember seeing or I'm not familiar with. And in this case, this is certainly one of them. Frankly, the light hit this dial just the right way when I was going through the case where I may have overlooked it. This dial is stunning. Uh, you know, you really need to see it in the right light. I promise you this video is not doing it justice, but when this light hits it correctly, it really just, I, I, again, I'm a fan of the texture of this dial. Very, very subtle on the black dial. Uh, but again, a model I was not familiar with, so I certainly wanted to review it, share it with you guys. Again, it's the SBGH301. I either missed the release altogether or just, I don't know, um, like I said, very rarely that I see one that I'm not familiar with. So we have a 40 millimeter case. That's an even 40 millimeter above the crown, diagonally across the case, 37.7 across the polished bezel, and then 32.5 millimeters across three to nine, the sapphire crystal, 13.4 millimeters thick, 46.2 lug tip to lug tip with drilled lug holes. However, we do have the male end links there. 49.9 with the male end links, so a little bit larger because of the, uh, the way the end links stick out there a little bit. 19 millimeter lug width, tapering down to 18 millimeters at the fold over deployment clasp. So 18 was at the clasp itself. We have a Sapphire Exhibition case back. Underneath there is the High Beat 9S85 movement, 55 hours of power reserve. We have a signed screw down crown, 100 meters of water resistance, and on the full stainless steel bracelet here, it weighed 155.8 grams. Uh, while we're talking about the bracelet quick, you can see we have uh, removable links by screws. No micro adjustment, but we do have a half link on both sides, so it should be able to get a pretty good fit. This model retails at $6,900. And again, hopefully you can see that texture um, on this black dial. Just a very classic look, the 44 GS style case. Um, I'm a fan, I think it looks really good. So let me show you how it wears on my six and three quarter inch wrist. I'll move my camera up a little bit for perspective here. Would really prefer not have the male end links if I'm being perfectly honest, but even with them, still not too bad of a fit. Obviously no loom on this, but I'm gonna hit the lights to see what the low, uh, low light looks like regardless. So still can kind of, again, I got a computer monitor in this room right now, but hopefully that gives you at least an idea on a low light situation on how those markers are going to look. So as always, greatly appreciate you viewing. Let me know what you think of this uh, Grand Seiko High Beats. And uh, again, the dial's fantastic. Let me know if you think the dial is well. So thanks for viewing, and we'll see you in the next video.